Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrator. I have prepared a simple tool to generate response spectrum function as per the recently released IS 1893 uh, part 1 and part 5 2025. And this response spectrum function you can input in the current version of ETABS where uh, these these uh, new codes are not uh, being you can say incorporated okay so uh, to use this tool it's a very simple tool that, that I have developed in uh, ETA, uh, Excel so uh, first what you have to do you have to input these parameters uh, the first uh, parameter is the category of structure so we have here different categories so suppose special critical important and normal as per the code so I will go for a normal building uh, design method so if you are going to uh, you can say use this uh, you can say response spectrum function for the design of the structure then you will be selecting this limit state for the uh, you can say uh, uh, serviceability checks you will be going for the working stress right so I will go select this limit state so automatically the return period will be selected based on the method of design and based on the category of the structure okay so if i change this category you can see the return period is automatically changing uh, you can say as per the code recommendations okay so i'll go to the normal structure uh, seismic zone i'll be selecting suppose now we have uh, you can say five zones two three four five and six i'll go for zone six suppose uh, zone factor is all automatically selected again okay based on the uh, clause table uh, table 3 of IS 1893 part 1 uh, 2025 right importance factor uh, if you see the part 5 now for any building it is any kind of building it is 1 response reduction factor I will be selecting as 5 okay side class so based on the soil parameters you will be selecting suppose I will be going with the side class C suppose right and now the the structure the part of the structure which is you can say under the ground okay embedded under the, under the ground so what is the height of that particular part so suppose for us it is around uh, 2.5 meter okay so i'll put this hc value here uh, 2.5 meter so now uh, you can see there will be this uh, time period versus uh, anh which is basically the uh, uh, the spectral acceleration that we had earlier okay so now uh, this will be generated as per the clause 6.2.3.2 okay uh, so there are four cases one is for horizontal above ground horizontal below ground vertical above ground and vertical below right and similarly the you can say uh, design uh, you can say acceleration coefficient ahd okay i, I mean i'm i'm telling uh, uh, you can say in terms of the previous code so earlier we had this ah right we used to call it design i mean acceleration coefficient so here also now we have the ahd okay so the time versus ahd for four cases we'll be getting one is for uh, you can say ahd then we have avd avd was for the vertical motion so ahd for above ground and below ground these two cases and av uh, for above ground and below ground okay so there are the four cases now in this tool we have this button generate input file for ETAP so what it will do it will create data files okay uh, for these four cases right so if I click on this generate input file for ETAPS it will ask you to save the file so suppose I'll select this folder I'll click on ok so it has saved, saved uh, you can say uh, the files in this particular folder so if I just open this folder and if I show you let me just take this folder the screen if you see there are four files one is horizontal above ground horizontal below ground vertical above ground vertical below ground, right so how to use this file so what i will do i will open etabs so currently it is uh, version 22.5 where this new codes are not incorporated so what i will do i'll go to define i'll go to function response spectrum function and here i will select from file okay and i'll click on add new function now here you need to select this period versus value because the functions or the files that we have it is uh, for period versus value right so what i will do i'll click on browse and suppose i will be selecting this file from this particular folder uh, response spectrum horizontal above ground and you can see the the you can say uh, the response spectrum uh, you can say curve has been generated in etabs so it is basically the time period versus uh, the uh, you can say horizontal acceleration coefficient curve 
and then uh, uh, we have the you can say g value multiplied in the I mean, uh, used in the load case which will be multiplied with this acceleration coefficient it will convert it convert the coefficient to the acceleration okay so i hope it is clear to all of you you can you can now name it suppose rsh horizontal above ground ag like this okay now it's totally on you how you want to you can say uh, uh, name it so just for your understanding so similar way you can you can uh, you can say add other functions also suppose let me take one vertical function above ground open so this is the vertical function i'll name it as suppose rs uh, a vertical above ground ag okay right so this way you can define the response spectrum functions in the current version of e tabs uh, which you are using uh, and uh, you can you can you can create the response spectrum function as per uh, is 1893 part 1 and part 5 2025 okay so i hope this is clear to all of you and uh, i hope uh, this tool will be useful to all of you i'll be sharing the link to download this tool for for uh, which will be open to all you can download from the link and uh, uh, if you find any discrepancy in this particular uh, uh, you can say tool if you find any uh, uh, mistake in the in the calculations please do let me know in the comments so that i can uh, you can say uh, uh, correct this and i can reshare the file to all of you thank you and we'll see you in the next video